let's not waste time and go to find the wild boar. <laughs> we have the hunting dog. Alex is in a red t-shirt. Also great to find the boar. <laughs> the wild boar was somewhere here, guys. In this area. And the people from the Dutch community, they took pictures and put in our local WhatsApp group. And we could see that huge animal. But if not to think about wild animals, the most dangerous animal here or insect that is a tick. Tick guys are everywhere now in the city, in the forest, everywhere. You see what flowers we have here. They are from the red book Krasnaya Kniga. In Russian they are called Landish these white flowers. They are very, very rare and it is forbidden to cut them. So. But people very often go to the forest, cut such flowers and sell them in the market. So how we protect Sheffy from the ticks? I put drops on him once a month, some special anti-tick drops, but that is not a very good protection. It's better to give some pills. And also some people put uh, the cola, special anti-tick cola. I tried uh, once uh, on Sheffy. I bought uh, one cola for him, very expensive one, uh, but some allergies started on Sheffield's skin. He was scratching constantly. Oh, so I got rid of that cola and starting from that time we use only drops. Some time ago the info appeared uh, that uh, a Russian company produced drops, anti-tick drops, and a lot of animals died because of them. I won't uh, say the name of these drops. And our doctor uh, that examines Sheffy constantly, uh, she even told us that they bought antidote. Uh, special medicine if uh, uh, the dog has some problems after that not very good drops so that is just to to save the life of the animals on там можно слезть шеф Some time ago, guys, the water in this pond, that is not the pond, that is the river, uh, but looks like a pond. So the water here was so great that every summer I swam here every day for about two hours. Over here was the place where all the kids from our Dutch community and also kids and adults also from the city they were swimming here on this very spot but now the water is in horrible condition of course no one swims at the moment but animals шефи иди походи иди залезай он не особо хочет не хочешь Зато там пологий берег, и он там сойдет. Он сам знает, где ему лучше. Понял? Ты думаешь одно, а он думает другое.
Ну ладно, на улице посохнет. Ну и может надо, Леш, хождение по воде это тоже зарядка. Шеффилд. Лук. Дакс овахи. Все, все утки плывут. Он сам как утка <смех> плещется. Не боятся его, смотри. Ну, они быстро плавают. Шеф is not stupid. When he was a young puppy, <laughs> he wanted to hunt ducks and he tried to catch them. He was swimming in their direction, but <laughs> they flew away and Shef was in the middle of a huge lake and starting from that time he is afraid of catching ducks, of tracing ducks. He prefers to be on the safe side and to watch them from the bank of the river. Yeah, Shefi? Покушать, покушать дедушки. Да? Grandpa wants to eat. Все утки плывут. Вон шефи. Так хантинг из Олва. И бо хантинг из Олва. No wild animals here. И <laughs> we go home to eat cheese. Я yeah, шефи. Cheese hunting. That is much more profitable than other ways of hunting. So guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this small walk with us in our local forest. See you soon in another episode. Пока! Lilac started to bloom about two or three weeks later than normally. Usually that is in the middle of May, about the 20th of May, approximately like that. But this year <laughs> and the lilac just starts to bloom. Smells wonderful.